Hello and welcome to Acrylic Code. Today I'll show you how to create this animation with Touch Designer. Before we move on, please subscribe to the channel so we can keep on making tutorials like these. Now let's start from scratch. I already opened an empty project, now let's split the screen and activate the top viewer. I'm going to create an out top and let's right click here uh, to turn off the backdrop tops. What we're going to do first is create the particles. For this, press tab, go to SOPs, and while holding shift, let's select a sphere SOP, a sort, a particle, and a null. Great. So now we already have our chain, which is very handy. Let's right click after the null to create a geometry. Right click after the geometry to create a camera. Press tab. Go to materials and create a constant material. Let's drag and drop it to the geometry and select parameter material. Press tab, go to tops and let's create a render top. Let's connect it to the out, right click here and insert a transform operator. Here on the parameter window, let's set the alpha parameter to one and turn on comp over background color. Now that we have a black background, we can see our particles. Let's go to sort and in the parameter window put the point sort to random so that our particles are moving in a random way. Let's click on particle next and in the parameter window let's go to particles and increase the amount of particles to 1000. Now let's add a feedback. We can do this with a feedback loop or like I always like to do it, go to the palette, image filters and drag and drop the feedback edge. Connect the feedback edge to the transform and to the out. Let's go ahead and also change the color. I'll go with a dark blue since it's more comfortable to my eyes. Now for the next step, we want our particles to move with the input of the microphone. So first we're going to simulate the input. We want the sounds we make on the microphone to have a wind-like effect on the particles. So let's click on the particle node and in the parameter window go to forces and here we have a wind parameter. So let's see, here in the x parameter of the wind if I put for example minus 2, it has the effect on the particles where it looks as if the wind is causing the particles to be pushed to the left. So we know the wind right here is what we want to simulate. But before that, I kind of want the particles to be even more random. So let's go here, right before the sort, and right click to insert a noise operator. Maybe play around with the period and see if the particles are moving more naturally. Okay, now let's go back to our goal. We want to simulate the wind, so let's press tab and create a beat chop. Press tab again to attach a null and before let's rename it because we're going to try out different inputs. So I'm going to rename it to wind x. Let's also attach here a math because the range here goes from 0 to 1 and we want to set it from 0 to minus 2 which is the value we tried out before. Great. Now we see here the values are going from 0 to minus 2. Let's put the null here viewer active and drag it on top of the particles until the parameter window appears, drop it on the wind parameter and select chop reference. So what's happening is that the beat is going to go until the end, then it's going to stop and then go back again. But we're not able to see that right now because of the feedback. So press tab to add an LFO. Let's copy paste this math down here and connect the LFO to the second math node. Here, let's change the range from minus 1 to 1 and connect it to the rename. So, right here we can see the LFO is going left and forward and then left and then forward again. I'll just click on the LFO and on the parameter window decrease the frequency a bit. So now it's much clearer. We see the particles going this way and then stopping and then coming back towards us. Okay, great. Now that we have this, we don't want it to happen automatically, rather we want it to change with our sound. So let's press tab and add an audio device in. Here we can see what my microphone is recording right now. Let's right click here and add a select and I'll choose a channel name here in the parameter window. And it's going to be channel 1. So now we have our channel isolated. 
let's right click to add an audio spectrum and right click on it to add an all. Here in the audio spectrum we can see how the frequency changes whenever I talk. We want to filter here the frequency so right here in the middle let's right click, add operator and let's add an audio filter. Here in the parameter window we'll select the high pass filter because we only want the high frequencies to pass and let's also ch change the cut of units to frequency. Now we need to calibrate it, so in order to do this we need a sound input. Now I'll make a sound noise like... Great, now we see how the sound is affecting the null right here. Okie dokie, now let's make some space here, right click to add operator and add an analyze chop. In the function here I'll put RMS power. Here we can see that the values are very very small, so let's right click and add a math operator and let's multiply this by 500. And once more. This is better, but sometimes it goes over one, so let's try to limit it. Right click, add a limit chop. In the parameter window, set the type to clamp and the minimum to zero. So let's try again. We see it only goes to 1 and it stops there. Now we know that this guy goes from 0 to 1 and we want it to go from 0 to minus 2. So let's right click, add operator and add another math. And in here we can change the range from 0 to minus 2. Okay, now I'll clean this up a bit. Let's move the whole chain right here and connect it to the rename. To have a better view on what's happening, let's click on the little arrow here on the top right corner and split the screen. Here on the left part, I'll activate the top viewer to have the animations on the big screen and here on the left bottom screen, I'll de deactivate the backdrop tops. Okay, now we're all set. I'm going to make a wind sound on the microphone and let's see the magic happen. yes that was it for this tutorial short and easy i hope you enjoyed it and you tried it out yourself and if you have any questions or tutorial recommendations please leave them in the comments and i will see you on the next video bye